Hey, it's Ansley, and I want to talk a little bit about um, Comunidad. Uh, we, uh, Hector Vasquez and I uh, started the brand because what we wanted to do was feature the, um, you know, stuff that's not easy to find and stuff that is unusually good. We're willing to pay good money for fabulous product. And, um, uh, and in very small lots, uh, I, I wasn't trying to start a brand that sort of had, you know, uh, you know huge bottlings. And, and, and then part of the other reason, the reason we want to be selling, um, you know, sort of higher end mezcals is that once, when we start making money, we want to be putting that money back into the communities. That's why it's called Comunidad, to do things like deal with the uh, bagasso, the, uh, the, 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 the solids that come out of the still after distillation, or, you know, where the uh, distillate, where, you know, where, where they dump the water or not the water, but the, the residue from distillation and so forth, which is a problem in these communities, especially now that mezcal's gotten hot. But anyway, so that's the idea. But <laughs> when we were, first, we were looking for these small quantities, but we're at, we're at Don Beto's, and he shows us this stuff. We just had to buy it. This is uh, 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 Comunidad number one, Bramaderos. And, you know, the other ones we've got are things like, you know, the, the uh, Comunidad from, from Rancho Viejo or from Amatengo and so forth. These are, you know, much smaller productions, um, you know, a couple of hundred bottles at best. And interesting, though both of those are interesting because they use uh, regular Dora and they do single distillation. So you get this completely different kind of mezcal because the vegetal qualities that disappear largely disappear in the second distillation are very present in the first distillation and you get a much you know more direct sense of tasting you know concentrated agave than you do in the second distillation i happen to like them a lot but anyway here's the here's the here's the bromaderos the don beto that we bought and um, it was uh, it's six different agaves okay five of them wild semi wild burial and madre cuiche and so forth and then against a backdrop of 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 cultivated espadine and i really like cultivated espadine when it's blended as 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 a backdrop to blends from wild agaves because it's calm and it's rich and it tends to sort of accentuate the qualities of the wild agaves. They show up, but in this sort of somewhat calmer way, uh, not as dominant as when they're mixed with espadine. So you get a much more balanced product. Anyway, so I'm gonna say this is typical of um, Comunidad in that it's a very unusual product, but, and, you know, you know, extremely good. Uh, the complexity is As you might expect, you know, I mean, six different agaves, it's average complexity, but what's interesting about the, the way, I mean, Don Beto is a fabulous distiller, but it's also balanced. And I believe it was made about four years ago, so it's, you know, really well integrated. This is fabulous product.